Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, as always, we really want to thank you, South Africa, because I know that you know this by now, but for every single vital supplement that you purchase, one rand thereof is donated to the Vital Foundation, which supports organizations that help to make a change in our communities. And in true Mandela Monday spirit, the CSC, which is a non-profit organization, is doing exactly that. They're helping to spread compassion and humanity to needing children and adults in South Africa. Thanks to support from the South African public, the Vital Foundation gives hope to organizations working to stop abuse of women and children like CSC North. The Christian Social Council is a non-governmental organization that runs a couple of projects across disadvantaged communities to help them deal with challenges such as housing and childcare. Today I'm going to spend some time at a few of the initiatives to find out how they spread hope to those who need it most. CSC North operates 17 centers of hope across three provinces focusing on family preservation, child protection, poverty alleviation, and HIV and AIDS. This community was moved in from, from Zambezi Drive, there where they built the, the Zambezi Mall right now. Uh, they were moved by the municipality to come and stay here for time being. They're still having a plan as to where they can place them. And of course, as the settlement keeps growing, there are going to be some challenges that the families here face. How do you help them deal with it? They face challenges of alcohol abuse and early teenage pregnancy, pregnancy and early school dropouts. We as social workers render supervision services, preservation services, and we do statutory work also to uh, address all these issues that the, the community is uh, dealing with. While the adults are given a chance to rebuild their lives, the young ones still need a place where they can be happy and safe, which is why the CSC is also associated with some local crashes like this one. What's more important than keeping that smile on these little ones' faces? CSC has started early learning centres within some of their centres of hope, where they can be safe and social workers can assess their emotional well-being. A big part of the work of a social worker is working with children and families. So when you work with families, automatically you will work with children as well. And for us, it's extremely important to ensure that we work with healthy families. The teachers and the social workers here at the creche will pick up problems, and also the community reports problems to us. And then what we do is we invite the parents to attend a parenting skill program, where we teach them um, different parenting skills to enable them to be better parents for their children. And what is your hope for these little ones? My hope and CMR Rueda Plus hope for these children is for the children to build up a positive self-esteem. Not only is the CSC associated with different creches, they also have child centres which render specialised support systems for children who experience trauma. This kind of contact forms a very important part of the rehabilitation process. Therapy is extremely important, that is what we focus on at the centre. We utilise the child-centred approach where we focus on the child's trauma, working through the child's trauma, utilising play therapy. We additionally utilise a multi-professional approach where we contact doctors, speech therapists, occupational therapists, to assist us in the child's process of healing. Additionally, the organisation will facilitate foster care for children in need, and they also provide support to pregnant mothers who are considering surrendering their unborn babies for adoption. We can discuss the different caring options with them. We also have a look at their support system. That's very important. Now, one of the caring options, if their own family or the lady herself cannot take care of the baby, is to consider foster care for a short-term uh, period until she is on her feet. We um, recruit foster parents, we screen foster parents, and we train foster parents. And then we also provide some support after the placement of a foster child. Our communities are so blessed to have centres of hope like this one that really give our children a second chance at a happy and fulfilled life. And hopefully one day they'll also be able to raise their own children who don't have to recover from their childhoods. The Vital Foundation will donate one rand from every pack of vital supplements purchased to victims of abuse. Healthy families, healthy homes. <laughs>